Hmm, like it? I can do that now, because I got a new mic! Thank my girlfriend. Now I'm actually really proud of this Warrior Clan recreation for a couple of reasons. First of all, the fact that I was able to get two uh, different weapons in there, the two weapons that he has. And not only that, I kind of shaped the body well. What do you guys think? The weapon, as you can see, is a little odd because with a Z-Tech motor, that makes it sit very high. I had to bring it lower, so it was in the middle of the body. And I used the spike strips just because I thought that would be a little more realistic looking to the teeth that Warrior Clan has. Had to make him a middleweight just because, well, couldn't do any much more than that. Let's go, Warrior Clan! Whoa, that's not the start I was hoping for, was it? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me! A choir boy! You are a coward son of a bitch! Oh, come on, it works. It's a great strategy. Gotcha, bitch! How could this happen to me? Bitch. No, wait to venture, please, please, no, 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 don't do this. Oh, fucking shit, come on. No, no. Uh, every time Dementia's around, I just, I can't think. Please tell me you guys get that. Put your hands in the air. Yeah, I got you now, Iceberg. Okay, let's try that again. Gotcha, bitch. What the fuck, man? Oh my god, stay down! Are you done? Are, Are you done? Oh shit! I couldn't resist! He needs some milk! Oh no, come on! I was gonna win! Hang on, man, let's tag team this guy. We got the win! Now we flip him up. Oh shit! Um, now this is where we would grade Warrior Clan. We're not gonna give him a final grade because he hasn't had enough fights to really prove himself in real life, so we're gonna wait on that. But I am gonna bring up the graphics to show you what I did think about him because I did actually really enjoy making this spot and fighting with him. It wasn't the most realistic because the weapons in the game were very good compared to real life. Obviously the record accuracy we're not doing because he's only had four fights in real life, but in recording for this he was 15-3 and three and was... Actually, I thought he was going to be the first spot to go unbeaten. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Everything else he checked out pretty well. So next up in this episode is Brutus, and he's going to look a little different if you saw him in his predictions episode when he fought Tombstone. I had some ram plates to him because not only was he a middleweight when I first built him, but he was a lighter middleweight. And he really didn't have the defenses to beat Tombstone in that fight. It was kind of uh, favored in Tombstone's favor, and I feel bad for that, but I still think that would have been the prediction anyway. So I added the ram plates in front, took a little time to get them right with the right angle and to readjust the saw, so that stuck out above everything else. And he's still a middleweight, surprisingly. A little bit heavier, though. He's still very quick, he's got the four moving wheels, and he's got the saw that sticks out much farther than the ram plates. But it acts as his wedge. It works perfect. Maybe that's what happens when a tornado meets a- No, we're not doing this today. Get out. Okay, so we're not gonna count this fight. This didn't happen, guys. There can only be one vertical spinner! Asshole! Okay, why is it with Ripblade every time I take something off, I get sent flying? I'm singing, follow me, everything is alright. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You're an emotional fucking cripple. Your soul is dog shit. Every single fucking thing about you is ugly. Speaking of dog shit, how bad is the dog? 
Oh my fuck! What am I supposed to do now? That actually worked. Are you serious? Stop it, Brutus, you're hurting me. I don't give a shit! Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him! Yes! Good job, Brutus! So this is the time in an episode where we would grade a bot, but obviously Brutus has not had enough fights to warrant a accurate grade. The only thing I will say is that for appearance, I would give him a B, and a good for a robot arena 2 grade, I would give him an A. The reason I'm doing this at the end here is because, guess what Brutus did? You won't believe it, but he went 30-0 in recording. He's the first BattleBot to go unbeaten in recording. We finally have one, ladies and gentlemen. It's happened. Didn't think it would be Brutus, but congratulations to him. Hey, you. Do you have a favorite BattleBot that you would like to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the BattleBot's name below. Only you can prevent Forest Bot. Oh, piss off. Thank you.